Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Kevin Cosby here in Louisville, Kentucky, St. Stephen Baptist Church. I'm here in my office bringing to you another powerful point to ponder as we spend meaningful moments with the master in the word of God. I want to thank you so much for joining me and I pray uh, that you've had a wonderful weekend and I'm excited about what we will explore uh, this week because this week's topic um, is something that I want you to remember. Um, it is a topic that I hope you will share with someone else. First of all, uh, apply it to yourself and then share it with someone else because this week we'll, we'll address from the biblical perspective something that all of us have to deal with. And that is how malnourished all of us are in the confidence department. And this week's theme for the entire week, we will address the topic, what to remember when you don't like yourself. Wow. What to remember when you don't like yourself. And you know what? You will always rise to the level of how you feel about yourself. If you feel bad about yourself, then you can't do good things. You cannot go up if you look down, uh, especially if you're looking down about yourself. And the Bible has a whole lot to say about that. Because one of the areas where the devil uh, attacks us is in the area of self-perception. Uh, instead of believing what God and who God says we are, we tend to believe um, what other people say about us, which crippled us, cripples us and impedes and hinders us from doing the things that God has called us to do in our lives. And here's a scripture that we're going to be dealing with, which will be our primary scripture for the week. And that is Romans chapter 12, verses three through five. And we'll just read excerpts of this and listen to what the apostle Paul says. I'm speaking to you out of deep gratitude for all that God has given me. And especially as I have responsibilities in relation to you, living then as every one of you does in pure grace. And listen to this, this is a critical statement. If I could highlight this, this is what I would highlight. It's important that you not misinterpret yourselves, that you not misinterpret yourselves. It says, so, misinterpreting who you are is no minor issue from the biblical perspective. It is a critical issue. He says it is important. You know, he, he doesn't say I advise you not to misinterpret yourself. He said it is important not to misinterpret yourself. And many times the reason why we don't like ourselves is because we have depended upon the wrong interpretations of who we are. One of my favorite stories, and you remember the story of Hans Christian Andersen. I learned it in the fifth grade, excuse me, when I was five years old, not the fifth grade. I learned this in kindergarten from my kindergarten teaching, Mrs. Howard at the First Virginia Avenue Baptist Church here in Louisville, Kentucky. And I remember her telling the story of the ugly, ugly duckling. Now, do you remember the ugly duckling story? Let me, let me, let me refresh you again. There is a swan egg that, and I don't remember how it ended up in the duck yard, but the swan egg ended up in the duck yard. And when the swan egg in the duck yard hatched, the swan egg, the swan came out uh, as an ugly duckling because it takes the beautiful swan, of course, years to mature into the beautiful swan. And all that the other ducks in the duck yard knew was that the duck was an ugly or strange looking, awkward walking duck that was not like the other ducks. And the reason it wasn't like the other ducks is because it wasn't a duck, it was a swan. Now, let me tell you something about bird hierarchy. When it comes to the hierarchy of birds, domesticated ducks are as low as you get. You know why? Because domesticated ducks have wings, but they don't fly. Now, the geese that fly above, the wild geese do fly. But domesticated ducks are ducks that have been trained 
not to fly like the poet said my soul is in barnyard duck wallowing around in barnyard muck fat and lacely lazy with useless wings and sometimes when the north wind sings and the wild ducks fly ahead i remember something in me feeble and dead in a feeble attempt i hope to fly and i get nowhere you know why because i have no desire to fly i'm i'm very content with the state I'm in, and that's why I'm not the duck I could have been. So the barnyard ducks are ducks that are content with the state they're in. They're not the ducks they could have been, which means they're not the ducks that could be flying high, soaring high like the wild geese. And this swan is lower than the barnyard ducks that are wallowing around in barnyard mark. In fact, watch what happens. The the uh, wild, the, the ducks on, on the barnyard, in the barnyard are actually saying to the swan, you're strange, you're weird, you're nothing, you're an embarrassment. And his peers treat him that way. He can't join the, what is it, the wild feathered society of ducks. The duck teachers treat him as though he's weird. And Everyone is treating him he's, that he's he's weird and and a, a, a strange something's wrong with him. He's strange because he's not like the other ducks because he's not a duck. He's a swan. So guess what happens to the ugly duckling who is really a swan? He begins to misunderstand who he is and he begins to think. I am ugly. I am beneath myself. Well, you know the story, the, the duck, the, duck uh, the, the swan who thinks he's a duck leaves and over a while, over a period of time, he comes to discover that he's not a duck, he's a swan. And um, when he looks at himself in the mirror, he can't, be, or in the reflection of the water, rather, he can't believe it's him because he thought he was an ugly duckling. But he's really a, a swan. I often wonder, and they did do a psychoanalysis on that 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 swan that thought he was a duck. If that duck ever overcame uh, those past messages in the swan's head, I wonder if, even though he was a beautiful swan, did he still think, you know, I'm nothing? Did he have some insecurity issues? Because most of us, like the Bible says, it's important for you to understand who you are. Most of us don't understand who we are because we have been told we are nothing because we're not like what other people, what, what other people are, or people have misinterpreted who we are. And we think that just because we are different that we are the ugly duckling. And if you go through life thinking, well, because of what other people say about me or what my teachers have said about me in my past, or how people have treated me, that I am the ugly duckling. God says, look, I want you to have a clear understanding of who you are, because if you don't, guess what? You won't like yourself. It's one thing for others to call you the ugly duckling. It's another thing for you to call yourself the ugly duckling, especially when you're not the ugly duckling. You're really a beautiful swan. And that's what we're going to talk about this entire week. People who've been told all their life that they're the ugly duckling and they never tap into their swanness. I like that. They never tap into their swanness because they don't know that swanness is there. It's there. And God wants to reveal to you the swanness that is in you. And we're going to talk about this the entire week. What to remember when you don't like yourself. All right. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, for those who have been told that they are deficient because they are different, I pray that this will be the week that they get a chance to see their reflection in the waters of your word and see that just because they're different does not mean they're damaged. Help us to see what gifts you have put in us and to stir them into action. In Jesus' name, amen. Peace and blessings to you. Thank you for joining me with, me with another powerful point to ponder. Look, if you don't have a church home, come on and become a part of the St. Stephen family. It doesn't matter where you are in the world. You can still become a digital disciple, a part of our virtual church. 
So just email us and we will get back with you at newstart at SSC live.org, newstart at sscLive.org. Well, we'll pick up on this theme tomorrow, what to remember when you don't like yourself. If you know somebody who really needs this teaching this week, then please alert them to join us on the powerful points to ponder. But until then, look, remember, this Delta variant is very serious. So during this uh, explosion of the Delta variant, don't forget to stay safe, stay sane, and look, get vaccinated. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace and blessings to you.